Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we have a few options here. Um, I can buy some scale mail armor, some scale armor, whatnot, and uh, make it into Ooh. something fan freaking tastic. Uh, sorry, a breastplate. I can make a breastplate into something fan freaking tastic. Uh, honestly, I could also, also just go with a breastplate if it doesn't end up being as awesome as it could be. Because breastplate would, be, breastplate plus one is magical armor, so that would be better in general. To make an item for me. Armor. Don't seem to have the stuff I need to make special axe or armor. What? I runs into axes, swords, and armor, ex exotic weapons. What? Special holy water. Is this not special holy water? Special holy water. And a suit of magical armor of a total AC of five. Oh, put them in the forge and talk to them. Okay. I'm an idiot. Put them in the forge and then talk to them. So, AC of six with an armor check, uh, total Hello dex there. bonus of one. Let's see. I see there's some stuff in the anvil. Let me take it and see what I can construct. Nope, this won't do. Only two items in the forge one component item and a magical suit of specific magic weapon or suit of magic armor that goes with it. But am I an idiot here? Five special holy water scales of truth armor bonus of five special holy water. The frick else do you want from me? What the frick else do you want from me? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Of a total AC of five. Okay, so it's... Ugh, God damn it. It's more akin to buying a chain shirt plus one and then chucking that in there and that makes it into the scales of truth. Where can I get chain shirt plus one? Because I really want to experiment with this. I really want to get this to work. Hello? Because otherwise, since it's... Uh, breastplate Hello? is what? Plus... Frick. There's going to be a lot of experimenting with this episode, I apologize. So since it's plus six total, I would require a diamond and a suit of magical armor to make the armor and axes. Ugh, that's annoying. That's just a touch annoying. Like, I can't make it from any of this other stuff. It's very specifically, it's got a total AC. Yeah. I think maybe Arabeth has one. Such a good use of fifty gold. One of the bards here in Castle Never is composing. I believe That's nice. I, heard Lord I really don't care about the bards. The the uh, temple services. Email chain shirt. I think I'm shy out of luck. Armor of comfort. I'm guessing since this is, yeah, that's a total of eight, which is still stupid tempting. This one grants me an AC bonus. 
Damn it. <sighs> Just a load of damn it. That's all. Too bad you can't make things magical. Unless there's like... There's probably a mod for it. I won't lie. Which I'm not really into... Again, I'm not really into modding right now. And I do have fairy dust, so... Fairy dust... Special holy water. I... I'm gonna go ahead and rebuy this skull from her. I make good decisions with my life. Oh, I guess I can sell her the freaking... Yeah, sell the longbow. Don't need it. Celestial elixir. I wish I knew where the hell that goes. Um, I really don't need most of any of this anymore now, do I? I have a bunch of books. Hell, I couldn't in theory sell her the. I'm just gonna, just gonna get rid of that. I could in theory sell her the magical bag. Put the reagents within the bag. That'd be smart. And the recipe. Book. Just to keep it all neat and tidy. He's still not buying books. Whatever. Um. What can Tommy do for you? Uh, nothing at the moment. I actually kind of want to talk around the place a little bit here. If there's anyone named uh, no can do. that I might have missed out on. Olaf, hello. Greetings of the even handed to you. Welcome to the House of Tear. I am Reverend Judge Olaf Uskar in service of the maimed god. Name's Darius. I have some questions. I am bound by Tear to serve as long as the cause is just but mind your tone disrespect is not tolerated in this in this place was it i my name is darius i have some questions for you it wasn't being an ass it was just whatever um what's your position here we administer the to the plague sufferers previously we were working on artifact recovery which may be even more important now it is really a matter that's one that would only concern someone more spiritually minded and i don't think you are the type no offense meant I could still be of help? No, while I appreciate your offer, this would best be left to someone more inclined to understand the needs of the church. I require temple services. They are available from Lady Arabeth. She has stepped in to assist us because, well, we have suffered. Mm. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Just keep uh, pushing. Well, that works. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. You seem sincere enough. You may be able to understand why this is so important. In the weeks before the plague, we uncovered the tomb of Miaslasnia. Miasla Mialaz. Mialaz. Fairblade. She traveled widely with Nar God damn fancy names. Naluith Never, founder of Neverwinter. This was a great discovery and gave clues to the whereabouts of the founder's resting place. That would have been a great discovery indeed. And the plague undoubtedly complicated things. Yes, it did. It's very unfortunate because pursuing these tombs becomes all the more important within the city, with the city in crisis as it is. People are scared, and the lack of progress on a cure has diminished their hopes. A find like this would buoy their spirits. There is also a chance that powerful artifacts could be found alongside Hallowith Never's remains, though I would not rest my hopes upon it. What do you know about Hallowith Never? He was, the f he was the founder of Neverwinter. Actually, not much is known about him, really. He's a bit of a legendary figure. We reportedly fortified a fledgling Neverwinter against the Ilusk, Ilusk barbarians, deflecting their wrath to Luskin and settling, setting the tone for uneasy relations with that city. Knowing the details of his life could be very beneficial to the city. The people need to know they have a history of defeating adversary. Adversity. I'll help you find him. I welcome your aid in this matter. You couldn't have arrived at a more fortuitous time. Here, yeah, take this letter with my seal. It signifies that you act with my sanction. 
bring it, take it to Brilli in the Peninsula District, and he will aid you. He guards the one tomb already found. It is in the basement of a house in the east side of the Peninsula District. Return to me if you find anything, and I will reward you. I see a pile of books. Never mind. I see more piles of books. Lore. 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 <laughs> lore. This is half me not wanting to read and half Darius not caring too much about lore. Ah. The gold pieces. Excellent. All right. Um, quick decision. We are not yet going to the Black Lake District or the docks. We are going to the Peninsula District again. Which way was the Peninsula District? That way. Don't get me wrong. I'm still sour. Wait. Are you named? You are named. Blessings of the Earth Mother Shantia and the Tree Father Sylvanus upon you. I am Nyatar, in the service of nature. Cool. I'm Darius. I have some questions. I'll assist if I can, but mind your tone in the presence of nature. I favor balance in all things, including with those people I must associate with. Where's your position here? I see to it that the city does not tip too far from balance. That concerns for natural elements are kept a priority. Not easy in these times. You would not understand. Only a brother in nature could fully appreciate what needs to be done, how vital my tasks are. Freaking... Excuse me. Just because I'm like three foot nothing and wielding an axe equally as tall does not mean I don't understand nature. <sighs> no, while I appreciate your offer, this would be best to left someone more inclined to understand balance. I'm not sure if this is the haughtiness of an elf... Or the haughtiness of a druid talking right now. I hate both. What can he offer? Oh, he does sell stuff. It is unfavorable. Thanks. Like you too, buddy. Freaking son of a goddamn. Uh, Parry of wisdom. That's plus one bonus. Make a protection. Yeah, if I'm going to get any magic items, I think I'm going to get it from Lady Arabeth. Unless these are decent. Dodge bonus to AC wouldn't be bad. I'm not a druid or a ranger. Although. Greetings again. Nature welcomes you. I hope the day has held you in better health than those poor creatures in the Black Lake Zoo. What animals? Is there something you need help with? You would not understand. Only a brother in nature. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. You seem sincere enough. Okay. Get a bunch of quests. Many people are fa falling to plague, but animals suffer as well. They suffer in cages. The Black Lake District Zoo. There is a zoo in Neverwinter. It is operated by a hunter and his noble entourage. It is not clean. It is not compassionate. It is not right. The animals within are mistreated. The zoo seems small next to the plague. Gratitude is the majority. I was working to have it closed, but the plague has delayed that indefinitely. The officials I spoke with are among the plague dead. It was given... It was has given the zoo a reprieve. They know the law was turning against them, but now they have time to recover their actions. I fear that in animals will simply be killed and made into trophies. All creatures deserve charity. This bear, panther, wolf, a lion, all four should be rescued. What do you know, this hunter? Montgomery Shershot Weatherson. His family has been a great advocate for animal rights, but Montgomery f abandoned that philosophy when his father died. He gauges his progress as a man by what he has mastered, his family and business and nature, creature by creature. He is out of balance. Several nobles live vicariously through him. They are, their influence protects him from what little pressure I have been able to apply through the law. Hmm. Stick it to the man. Apply some balance. Free nature. Maybe cause a little chaos. Yeah, I'm all for it. I'll help you free these animals. I was hoping you would say that. 
Let me give you a few things to help in your task. I have thought long about what is required. Transport via plants. Sir, I'm a barbarian. Just saying. This key will grant access to the zoo. My animal companion found it, and I made copies. Guards may try to stop you, but doors will not. This is a v transport via plant scroll. Use it on a large tree near the zoo, and any of the animals you lead there will be transported here. And take this scented fetish. It will let you speak to the animals with the skill of a druid or a ranger. Please, lead the animals to the large tree in freedom. I think for the now... I'll focus on uh, the Peninsula District. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall fall to dust, blah, blah, blah. Marine. Alright, so... A house to the east. So the far end of the Peninsula. Most of the prisoners were already dealt with. Thanks to me. But what was in here? Hello. Hello, halfling. Don't mind me. This is uh, looting your place. That's not what I meant to do. Fair enough. Back to the travels. Dang it. You were a rogue. Alright, but yeah. We're going to focus on... This little peninsula problem that we have first, and then we'll head to Black Lake, where we got apparently a couple of things to do. Let's see. Oh wait, that's right, there was a merchant here too. I should check. Oh, that resupply, that resupply with gold? Nah, I think I just missed it. Random house. Ah, some prisoners. Hello. I'm here to kill you. No one escapes the law. Call you a chaotic good. Law. Um, that's impressive talking from beyond the grave. Really? You guys just got a bunch of rocks in your pocket? I mean, what else do I expect of prisoners but a bunch of rocks in their pockets, but seriously. Couple of gold pieces? No? A potion of cure light wounds? Because apparently those are a dime a freaking dozen. Alright, I'm going to check out this shop first before I... Okay. I'm going to check out this shop first before I venture forth. Let me see your goods. Let's see. Padded, banded, pot helmet. Ah, it's so tempted to get braces of armor, but that would replace my gloves of discipline. Which, yes, I know plus one is not, or plus three to discipline is not much going in the long scheme of things, but. You know. You know. I don't think he actually has anything of value for me. Scarab protect protection. Oh, that's saving throws. What's the lore plus five? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Uh, simply because I hate buying lore. Actually, wait. Cyan, that's blue. Jade, that'd be green. Dang. I was kind of hoping for a ring that is just white light. Uh, let's go with blue. Though, so this will provide a light area around me at all times. Which will make things a little bit easier for you guys to see, seeing as how dark it randomly gets. Also, this guy has some maps? Excuse me? 
Map of the Peninsula District is well annotated and easy to memorize. The map maker's art is gone largely unrecognized in Neverwinter. Lord Nashner has forbidden the mass production of such documents for fear they might aid enemy spies. I'm kind of curious now. I'm not sure what this does. The X mark the spot something? I mean, if it doesn't, I spent a whole two gold on it, so I'm not going to... Ooh. Oh, that's charisma. <sighs> Alright. I was half expecting it to X mark the spot something on my map. Alright, but the east side... Peninsula House! Oh, hi. I greet you. This area is in the care of the Temple of Tyr. May I inquire as to what you hope to find here? I was sent by Olaf to see Breely. Ah, I see. Yes, I, you seem to have a letter from him. Hmm. Aren't you one of the new recru recruits of the City Guard as well? Recent Academy graduate. I'll make certain that only... I make certain only City Guards are allowed in as well. Make sure that nothing goes wrong while you're here, alright? Right? 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 Don't you know, don't know nothing about it. I just took guard what I'm told to guard. Looks like nothing but a hole in the ground to me. Boy, you're so terribly useful. So what's even in this place, if anything? Hey, I just made my gold back from buying that map. I don't doubt that those maps are useless. And yes, I did see those magic bags. Not really going to invest in them because I don't have that kind okay, of cash okay. that I want to just drop on magic bags. Yet. Bags of holding? Sure. Portable holes? Absolutely. Random magic bags and only reduce your equipment by a certain percentage? Eh, less likely. All right. Out of one tomb, into another one. Ah, yes. Alexandrite. Uh, if you would kindly. Thank you. I won't lie. I honestly did buy... Uh, that thing for myself as well. The ring, I mean. Because it is just nice being able to see without having to have a torch on hand at all times. Ah, really? Hail to ye! Please, only those with the permission of Reverend Chief Olaf Uskar can enter here. There's nothing for you to steal anyways. I have a letter from him. He sent me. Thank goodness you're here. The plague has not been kind to our number, but the work of tear must still be done. What can you tell me about these tombs? Tomb we are we are in belongs to Miaz Fairblade. It has been her resting place for a good many years, though I don't know exactly how long. She was a trusted friend of Halloweth Never, so hopefully this place will hold clues as to where the founder himself was buried. This one is very close to the surface, suggesting it may have it may have been moved at least once in Neverwinter history, but no records tell of it. What have you learned? The plague killed every member of the team that was digging it out. What they knew mostly died with them. There is a journal, though. Scribe Jacob was supposed to detail what they found, but I have not re read his account. It's in the chest. You may open it. Where are the other tombs located? Don't know. Jacob's journal in the chest may say, but I was not instructed to read it, so you may have to examine it your yourself. Do you find any artifacts in here? I don't think so. Of course, I only arrived after the team died of the plague. I hope no one has the goal to disturb their bodies. Journal of the chest may... Okay. Remember to look at... Yeah, thank you. Look at the... Hmm. Like, blessed quill. Ceremonial arrow, ceremonial sword, ceremonial shield. Oh, boy. This book details the initial search of the tomb of Hallowith Never. It is unfinished, the writer obviously falling to the plague before he could include many details, but it does point to the possible locations of 
or three tombs in addition to the one in the Peninsula District. Beggar's Nest Great Graveyard. Oh, that was the locked one. Uh, Docks District Northwestern Quarter Aqueducts. Black Lake District Southwestern Quarter. The directions are vague, but the book does mention that each tomb is likely sealed with a magically protected door. A riddle of some sort is the key to each. The solution to the Peninsula Tomb Door was Emerald, which was answered by actually placing an emerald in the container immediately next to the door. It is worth noting that the, this action seemed to destroy the item, making it expensive discovery. Text of the Emerald Riddle on the Peninsula Tomb uh, Diamond of the Forest if the seasons never change. That feels vague. Alright, I guess I'm taking these. This item is too flimsy to be of any real use in combat. Obviously, it was made for some other purpose related to Hallowath Never. Yep, ceremonial weapons. Do I... And... Uh, minus 5 AC bonus. Jesus. Alright. So there's nothing else in here. So I gotta go to the other districts in order to figure this out. I've already been... I've already been to... Where's Medusa district? So I could, in theory, go out there first really quickly. I think I'll do that. I'll I'll check out whether or not that tomb has anything of significance in the great graveyard first. Hmm. Expensive. So that chest that was open there, it did have a diamond in it, but closing it had Destroyed the diamond, and now it is gone forever, which is suck. Because I'd like a diamond, please. Right, docks, Black Lake, beggars. Okay. My please. Yeah, people are not exactly the uh, cheeriest of folk around here right now. Understandable. Just, you know. Giant case of no one taking a bad situation and trying to make it worse. Or better. I guess. I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Alright. So hopefully there's no more zombies around here and I can just make a straight shot up to the Great Graveyard. Great, 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 great graveyard. Wait. That's a tomb, diamond of the forests. Key to each. Okay. I don't even think I can open the thing. I kind of assume that, um,. Having the ceremonial stuff would do something or other. But that's me assuming. I like to assume that I have answers to questions or whatnot. Which one of these was it? It was this one. Ah, no can do. No. no can do. <sighs> Might be something rather expensive. Ah, no can do. Alexandrite? Ah, no can do. How expensive are diamonds in this? Cause I don't have any other gemstones. Oh, that's the scented fetish. Um, let me look at this again. Becker's Nest, Great Graveyard. 
some sort of key to each door. Solution to the Peninsula Tomb door was emerald. By actually placing an emerald in the container immediately next to the door. Text of the emerald riddle on the Peninsula Tomb. Diamond of the forest that the seasons never change. Diamond of the forest if the seasons never change. The frick does that mean? Well, I went to the guy. But can I just teleport back and be all like, hey, job's done? If not, woo, I lost out on a whole 50 gold. Greetings to you uh, okay. Take the letters of Breeley, Central and Eastern District. God. Not going on much information here. <laughs> like, the clue is just hey, placed an emerald in the thing. Emerald of the forest if the season or diamond of the forest if seasons never change. Well, that was the one for the peninsula tomb. I haven't even found the one for the rest of them. That was the logbook. Night. Was there a purpose to this? I'm pretty sure I have absolutely no purpose to this. Actually, wait. <sighs> God damn. I have so many ideas and so many things I want to do. Well, I say want to do, but it's like, I have plans. Okay, can't go that way. Ugh. <sighs> It doesn't help that I don't actually have the other riddles to even look at. I just have a general vague dude put an expensive gemstone in the thing and the thing did a thing and that's about it. And I had I had known that I was going to be coming back to the beggar's nest I would have bought the beggar's nest one as well. Uh, the map I mean. Because it clearly wants me to cast some sort of a spell from the map, now that I looked at it. What do I do? Just go directly... Nor... no. Directly across. I could have just exited freaking the, the Temple of Tear. Ugh. I'm an idiot. I know. I'm an idiot. I'm an arse. I know. I'm an arse. Do 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 do. Manamana do 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 do. Manamana do 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 I just want to see what this treasure map leads to. Well, I'm assuming it's a treasure map. Where's the point of this? It is a map. I've, I'm going to look it up. But I'm fairly certain I just got ripped off out of freaking two gold pieces. One moment. Oh. They are not, in fact, treasure maps. Like I was thinking. Pretty much what their whole purpose is, is they will reveal the entirety of this map, the mini-map, here, if you were to look at it. So you see, like, some of the area is a little faded whiteness of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the game revealing that area. So they're not terrible to have, 
but they're not entirely useful if you're if you are going to be literally exploring the entirety of the area in the first place. Uh, so yeah, that was a waste of two gold. Well, you love, you learn, you get loves. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, um, I'm not entirely sure. I guess I might be going to the Black Rock, Black, Black Lake District. Uh, to see what's up. Maybe the Docks District after that. I was really hoping to get to the bottom of whatever the hell this crypt thing, uh, the puzzle crypt thing was, but so far I got no other information. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No other information besides shiny thing going to chest to open lock of door, and um, that's not helpful <laughs> very much. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure as much as I am, and as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.